planet Venus has some of the most hostile surface conditions in the universe, making places like Death Valley seem like child's play by comparison. The scorched surface is pockmarked by numerous volcanoes, with air temperatures reaching 872 degrees Fahrenheit, or 467 degrees Celsius, complemented by air pressure of 94 atmospheres. On March 5, 1982, the Soviet space probe Venera 14 recorded the sounds of Venus after landing on its surface. Sounds we would not be able to appreciate if they're in person, for we would be too busy trying to survive longer than a few seconds in the extreme conditions. Venera 14, a purpose-built spacecraft, lasted only 57 minutes in that same hellish environment. Have you ever wondered what lightning sounds like when it strikes a person? A man was in the right place at the right time, or the wrong place at the wrong time, to find out and record it. During a June 1992 supercell thunderstorm in the small town of Fritch, Texas. This storm later produced an F4 tornado with multiple vortices that devastated the town. The initial sounds of thunder set the scene. But the final thunderclap you hear is the sound of the lightning strike. Although the occupants of a crematorium are dead, it is awe-inspiring to hear the sound of a machine that can reduce a human being to a pile of ash. There aren't many things in the world that are designed from the ground up to do so, nor many that have been recorded at such length. A body was in the crematorium furnace as the sound was recorded.
The Personal Alert Safety System, or PASS for short, is a revolutionary advance in firefighter safety. An alarm is automatically activated if motion is not detected for over 30 seconds, indicating that the person wearing it has likely been killed, trapped, knocked out, or otherwise incapacitated. Given these conditions, the circumstances in which you would be hearing a pass alarm, and the sound itself, are extremely frightening to process. These sounds of animals in the process of industrial slaughter are frequently used for shock value by animal rights activists, in this case, the animal rights organization PETA. Regardless of what you think of the issue, the screams animals make as they are being killed is jarring and chilling to the bone nonetheless. The recording of the sound was preceded by one line of text that simply read, This is what hell sounds like. The sound of a blaring train horn isn't far behind. Due to their immense momentum, trains can take miles to stop. The personnel operating the train would only blow the horn in such a sustained manner as part of a test, or if something or someone was too close to the tracks. Hundreds of people are hit and killed by trains in the United States alone each year. After its launch on January 28, 1986, the Space Shuttle Challenger was 8.7 miles above the Earth when disaster struck, when a leak in the solid rocket boosters caused the entire fuel tank to ignite, causing the entire launch craft to explode. Even at that altitude above the Earth, the sound of the explosion is horrifying, and all the more so given that some members of the crew remained alive and conscious to experience it after the blast blew the crew cabin away from the shuttle. Engine's throttling up, three engines now at 104 percent. Challenger, go with throttle up. Challenger, go with throttle up. Velocity 2,900 feet per second, altitude 9 nautical miles, downrange distance 7 nautical miles. Wreckhouse winds are a category of extreme wind named for the Wreckhouse area in the Canadian province of Newfoundland and Labrador, where they take place. These winds, which aren't associated with any unusually strong weather system, such as a tornado or hurricane, can reach up to 200 km per hour and pose a serious hazard to mobile homes, trains, and traffic, especially transport trucks. Here, I play them in the opposite order in which they were recorded from weak to strong.
This is perhaps one of the most common sounds associated with death itself. The heart rate monitor really just bears witness to one of your most important organs functioning as it should, or as it shouldn't. If it flatlines, what it means is fundamentally unmistakable. Provided the victim is conscious when their heart rate flatlines, they can hear it during their last moments, spectators to their own death. The sound of a wood chipper is an inherently jarring and unsettling sound, perhaps because we see the rigid, solid mass they are capable of shredding through instantaneously, and perhaps because we fear ending up like the extremely unfortunate handful of people who get chewed up by them every year. In the United States alone, 41 people were killed after being caught in wood chippers between the years of 1982 and 2016. Such incidents may be rare, but survivors are even rarer, as horrified onlookers can do little or nothing to save them, as the machine spits out a fine mixture of flesh, blood, and bone. 